welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i did these super cute christmas nails this was a freestyle i actually did um a different color on her other hand but this is just going to be a video for this side if you want to see the other side let me know but i didn't really like the footage that i got for that side so i decided to not include it plus i kind of like this side more so i just didn't really care about the green side but um i'm gonna start off by pushing back her cuticles and then removing the shine from her natural nails um give this video a thumbs up if you like my intro for um winter time i should have tried to do vlogmas and trying to go to nail tutorial every day but i'll try next year i totally didn't even think about doing that um but i'll try next year and do it that would be so fun and next year i'll probably be vlogging for real too so that's gonna be so dope today is december 14th and it's like i think maybe 11 maybe it just turned 11 a.m 12 30 i gotta be at my suite to do my i have three clients today um it's raining so nasty outside it looks so ugly outside i know it's freezing like i just want to stay in the house i'm not a winter person i'm not a rain person my goal today was actually to wake up early go home because right now i'm at my boyfriend's house i went to wake up early go home wash my hair because i was supposed to yesterday but i didn't wash my hair and then get ready to go to my suite but i slept in hair still straight and it's raining and i'm definitely not washing my hair now because i'm not leaving out with wet cold hair and i'll just wash it tonight After applying all the tips, now I'm going to shape them. This nail supplies from my, I mean, this nail files from my nail supply store. I don't know the grid of it. Um, I double tipped the pinky because I thought that the tip single was going to be too short um, compared to the other ones when I lined them up, which I think I was correct. So I decided to double it and I shaped that one last. I cut and shaped that one last just so I could line it up to match. Um, the other nails i'm doing square 
and I think I used a five or four nail tip on her and I just um filed the sides to fit her nail bed sidewall to sidewall I really want to put um like a holiday or Christmas song that I can use that won't get copyrighted um on this video but Last time I did that, it got copyrighted and I had to re-upload my video. So I'm not doing that again. I don't know why that happens. I use InShot. Okay, y'all, for editing, I use iMovie, which I'm doing, I'm using right now. I use that to trim down any clips or like and edit out any mistakes. And then I also use it to do my voiceover portion. Then I save that to my phone and then I use InShot to add like music. I use InShot to add any text on the screen, like um, any stickers, anything. So I don't know, like all the music that is on there, it says like it's not, it's copyright free as long as you basically credit the artist and it like gives you something to copy and paste in your description box and everything. And I did that, but I don't know, last time it copyrighted me. But I really want to put holiday music to like, you know, my intro and these or holiday nails. Maybe I'll try a different song, but I'm just nervous. I just am not trying to have to re-upload this, you know, um, because it, that takes time. Uploading definitely takes time. I've been having a new problem with my new phone. I got the iPhone 12. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I want to tell y'all. I got the iPhone 12, so let me know if the quality is any better. Um, for this video, though, I didn't have my extra lamp i normally film with two lamps my ring light i have the newer ring light and then i have this really cool like table desk lamp that um i use and it broke when i went to Atlanta. i came back and it was broken um but my grandfather said apparently he fixed it for me so the next video which hopefully i can film today i want to get this video uploaded before i go to my suite today um Hopefully I can film today one of my clients what they get and upload that. But um I forget where I was going with this, but it's kind of dark in the um video to me, in my opinion. Like, I mean it's not that bad, but I just want to apologize for the not so great lighting because normally I have two sources of light over my video. This time I only have one. I tried to order another light and I ordered this light off Amazon and it was cheap it was like 30 dollars maybe and that like sucks it barely makes any difference like i'm probably gonna return it because it's really trash and i i don't want anything to do with that like it's so trash like i don't i don't want that i'm, I'm definitely gonna return it because you could take amazon stuff to like whole foods and return it now
this is what the shape looks like before application. I applied dehydrator and bond. I think I accidentally deleted the clip of me applying the dehydrator, but just know that I applied both. This is just the bond though. Then I'm moving on to application. All the colors that I use are gonna be linked down below. I have all the names to them this time, so I'm gonna link them down below so that you guys can easily grab them if you wanna recreate these nails or do something similar. The snowflakes that I used, I got from Amazon. I will link those down below as well for y'all.
the ring finger on this set is going to be white and I'm going to put a Gucci sticker on it. So if you decide to do this step or any step, um, do the white first if you care about having glitter in the white. Because if you don't, then glitter will get in the white and it'll be annoying. I didn't really care because it just added more to the design and it's just red glitter. But um, make sure you don't do the glitter first. Make sure you do the glitter last, if anything for any set you do it's just gonna make things easier so the glitter doesn't mix with any other um, colors or get on anything else it doesn't need to get on
this is what the application looks like now i'm going to reshape them and then use the e-file and i'll show you guys what they look like um after that and stuff This is what they look like after being reshaped and after she um, washed her hands. Next, I'm adding a stone to the ring finger and the pointer finger, and then I'll be applying a top coat. I'm using a different top coat because I ran out of my not polish one and I have to order more, but um, I'm using Slay by Esme's top coat. It's a non-wipe top coat and it works just as good. I will link that down below if you guys want to get it. I also have a discount code for her site as well i believe so i will put that down below and on the screen for y'all too
and that's it for today's video this is what the final nails look like thank y'all for watching don't forget to subscribe also thank you to everyone who's entered my giveaway so far i see all y'all um like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video